Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the elect. So I did a um, lesson like how I'm about to get into now, like uh, last week. I believe it was, or maybe two weeks ago, going into how, um, you know, if you will, I'll say, uh, if you're on your purpose, you know, which is being in the mindset to level up and become better, become a better man of the Lord. Right. So, um, I'll, uh, take a page out of, uh, AMS, AMS book. Cause he says, like he says, on your purpose. So if you're on your purpose, you know, and um, let's just say for an example, man, part of you being on your purpose is that you want to do a lesson a day. And then uh, here it is. You find yourself being distracted all day, being tired all day. Then that is an actual demon. Um. Making it hard for you to fulfill your purpose. You know, I mentioned uh, if you want to uh, exercise. So you. Uh, yeah, you want to exercise on certain days, you set up a whole schedule. You know, you, you add in your rest days so that it's so that it's legitimate. But then you find yourself on a, on a day you're supposed to go to the gym or something. You find yourself in a lethargic state, the exact opposite of what you know you want to be like. That's a demon weighing you down. You know, that is a damn demon weighing you down. So then that makes us to what? To pray to Yahweh Shem Shai. And you just watch how quick that goes away, man. And that's how you know it was a damn demon, man. <laughs> you thought the prayers, you know, Yahweh Shem Shai and then, that, and then that spirit goes away. That's how you know it's a demon on you, man. All right. But now I just want to add more and build up more onto that lesson. Because, uh, you know, I realize, man. We got to kind of grow a hatred for. Uh, uh, um, you know, these block it this, this blockage. In us being on our purpose. You know. So hate is not a, 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 a bad thing. You know. So now I'm not even going to really touch on our enemies. But I want to more so focus on. Hating. These uh, uh, stumbling blocks. On our path. Of uh, being on our purpose. You know. For an example man. If you hate being. um, If you hate. I'll use the same examples man. If you hate not. Doing a lesson a day. Which this goes for myself first and foremost. You know. I can only speak for myself man. Your spirit may be to do one every other day. I don't know. You know, but this is like I said, man, these lessons goes for ourselves first and foremost. You know, Yahweh Shai literally sups with us. According to uh, Revelation 2 and 26. So like not 2 and 26, 2 and 20, is it? Or maybe it's a uh, three. So like yeah, three and three. behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. So Yahweh Shai literally sups with us and puts it on our spirit to uh, learn these lessons in life. And then we in return feed his sheep of what. He, he he told us and sup with us about man 
So, you know, I just want to put that out there. But, um, yeah, so say, uh, use the same examples, man. Say you, you got a goal, man. You want to do at least one lesson a day. But then you don't. You got to hate that shit, man. You know, you got to hate that. Because when you hate that, it's literally, it's literally going to give you that fuel to get it done, to get the job done. Because you hate when what when you come up short. Same thing with a, a exercise, man. Say you're overweight, but you hate being overweight. That hate, that hatred for being overweight can be extra fuel onto us to help us get in shape. And what's the whole reason why we got it? And then once you get in shape, what's the whole reason why you got in shape, man? First and foremost, because of your how about your mouth shy. And then also because of the hatred that you had for being overweight. So see, this, these are just examples of how hate is good. It's a good thing, man. You can hate coming in last. You can hate coming in last place. So what's that going to make you do? That's going to make you put in that extra work behind closed doors so that next time when, it, when, when the competition comes, you say, shoot, I ain't coming in last place. See? So let me get a uh, First Corinthians seven and thirty-five. But you know, this all all the more for the spirit. You know, when you got goals in the spirit, man, and you come up short, we should hate that. And that hate can fuel us to not come up short as much or at all. So it's 1 Corinthians 7 and 35. You know, so like, I mean, one thing, like, we can't just be in a lollygagging type spirit. No, we, and that, and I hate, and that hatred goes into passion. Just like the apostles and the elders and brothers on down were just speaking about passion. When you hate coming up short, man, that's also passion. So we can't be in a lollygagging spirit. It's times being the spirit. We're like, yo, I'm, I'm starting to really hate that shit, man. I'm starting to really hate these blockages in my, in my, in my, in my while I'm on my purpose, man. You know, and and that's gonna help us and fuel us to go about doing things the right way to fulfill our purpose. So this is uh First Corinthians seven thirty five. And this I speak for your own profit. <laughs> that sounds like the apostles right there, man. Because Apostle Ramlab, he was saying, you know, that uh, the Apostle Tahar, really, he don't even have to do those lessons. Because he is diligent. They are diligent. But they do those lessons for us, for our own profit. Man... They, they, they're going to find out, man. They're going to find out. You know? That, uh, who the Lord is really dealing with, man. It says, and this I speak for your own profit. Not that I may cast a snare upon you. But for that which is comely. And that you may attend upon the Lord without distraction. Huh. Yeah. So them distractions That's like them stumbling blocks On our path Of our purpose man And we gotta learn to, to grow a, Start to grow a hatred for, the, for them distractions man You know uh, Sports or whatever the hell the case may be man Not saying of course there's nothing wrong watching I'm watching myself even though it's even though it's terrible, man. 
terrible calls. You know, not every some calls you can say, all right, all right. Some calls are just ridiculous. Like, really? But, you know, we ain't getting no works in, man. We sitting here enjoying ourselves watching sports, man. That's, that's, that's not attending upon the Lord without distraction. You know? So that's pretty much all I wanted to say, man. You know, just a thought that, that came to my head. And Lord willing, it was all edifying. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.